there will be bloopers here, but I normally do Dollar Tree hauls on Wednesdays and I went shopping at both Walmart and Dollar General and it was supposed to be Saturday's video, but I just can't hold on to it and know that I have all this for that long. Um, so we're gonna do a switcheroo. We're gonna do a Walmart Dollar General haul today and then we will do the Dollar Tree haul on Saturday. Now, if you see my bloopers, you'll know that I just need to dive into this right away before it gets further out of control. Okay, so I had to go shopping at Walmart. I was literally thinking about it last night in my bed. Like all of a sudden, I just wanted to go to Walmart for no reason at all. I just wanted to go see what was there. I did have the intention of like shopping for little stocking stuffer. So I got very excited last night and then I popped into Walmart this morning. I didn't find as much as like I kind of was expecting to find. I really wanted to kind of have a little mini shopping spree, but so after Walmart, I popped into Dollar General and I decided to kind of like marry the two together. At first I thought I would kind of do like a face off, but you guys can vote. I'll leave two comments down below, a Walmart comment and a Dollar General comment and thumbs up whichever one you liked best, I guess. So I feel like let's start with Walmart because yeah. All right, so I've got two bags and I, yeah, like I mentioned, I wanted to just pop in. Now these are just a staple in Mica stocking. I've always put in the Reese's peanut butter cups. So I put one in every year. As a matter of fact, I missed a year and she made a comment about it. So never gonna miss again. And then I found the Haribo gummy bears. Haribo? Haribo? I never know which one it is. Um, and I got these for mine. So I thought those were super cute. And then I found the Pez dispensers and I picked up Black Panther and Spider-Man, Micah's favorites. She is completely obsessed with Black Panther and um, Spider-Man's her favorite superhero. So I thought they were super cute. I almost got tangled, whatever her name is in that movie. What's her name? Someone comment down below, what's the Tangles princess name? She loves her too, and they had her, but I decided to kind of go with these two. So I got those. Then I picked up these cute little iced gingerbread cookies, and they're just super adorable. Around this time of year, I just love snacks and cookies and little holiday treats to just be sitting out. They're also going to be great, like, you know, if you want to take... Um, some cute like coffee picks, which you guys know I love to do. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's like every other post is a coffee pick. But um, these old gingerbread cookies are cute. Even in, like hot cocoa bar and all of that, they'll be adorable. So I got those. Now these I just had to pick up and share with you guys. This is a strawberry cheesecake, but it's not. It's just the box. And when I looked closer, it's actually novelty socks. And I took a clip, so I'll insert it here so you can see. But I found all of these really adorable socks in which the packaging honestly probably sells the whole thing. But I saw like Nintendo socks, just all kinds of things like the Friends. And then the Friends packaging was the you know, the iconic purple door. Like, it was just so adorable. So when I saw the strawberry cheesecake, it is none other than Golden Girls. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so that we can see what the socks look like. But they actually show you, so it's not like a mystery, um, which I guess, you know, kind of depends on like what you want. But I do like that we get to know what they look like. Keep calm and eat cheesecake. That is super cute. They are long socks, by the way. So we've got those. Then we have this one, which just says stay gold. Oh, stay golden. And there's just glasses and heels and lipstick. It's probably the Blanche Devereaux sock. Um, and then we have the, the squad. So super cute. 
love it but honestly it was it was the packaging the packaging is what got me the fact that they put a cheesecake as the golden girls like what that's so clever this next item i am a little too excited about and i haven't done this in like honest I don't even know god knows how long decades but i decided to get the whitman's sampler assorted chocolate pack it does tell you what you get in the back but just something about picking chocolates and finding out what's in the middle seems so holiday to me i remember this as a kid and i would just kind of like bite in and chew and if i got coconut i'd spit it out um but i I just felt very nostalgic on this trip. So I got the sampler pack. All right, in this bag, the second bag is the bag that holds some of my favorite goodies. I picked up an e.l.f. foundation brush. I just decided I wanted to switch out my brush that I had for applying my BB cream. I don't actually wear foundation. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wait to access this, um, you know, because I'm thinking of putting it in my stocking, but we'll we'll see what kind of happens. So I'm going to give this little brush a try. And then I picked some Burt's Bees. These are like a shimmering color balm lipstick. And I love putting lip balms. I always do every single year in mine and Micah stocking. And so the caramel, this one, caramel, is for me and then the rhubarb is for Micah. She has a very pale skin and she loves anything with like the berry tones and it looks really good on her skin. Like something like this tends to wash her out. So, um, but those are the colors I always go for for me. And then I always get some like wine colored lip balm for her. So uh, it has a little shimmer to it too. And it's new, I've never, um, put this in our stockings before so I'm excited for that Then I picked up some eyeliner for myself. I just wanted some new eyeliner These are gonna go in the stocking as well, but I have a fun color in the mix So I went ahead and got black just a standard black eyeliner Then I went for brown actually brown is what I wear It's a really great way to soften your daytime look if you don't want something so harsh or severe. I learned this trick um, a, a little too late in my corporate days. Like I wish I, it doesn't matter, like wear black if you like black. But for me, um, I found that brown just was like what I was searching for when I was going into an office. Um, but I got black as well. And then I decided to get a color. So I went with purple. As a matter of fact, actually, I've had a pack of three um, blue eyeliners from Amazon in my cart for a while now and they had blue but for some reason I went with purple instead of blue but I've wanted some like blue eyeliner for some reason but we're gonna go with purple so these are gonna go in stocking so I got those and then if you watched yesterday's video which I did my Amazon gift guide favorites haul all of that if you didn't watch it I'll link it down below to give you guys some ideas in that I talked about um, bath bombs and some milk bubble bath and then I found this bar of soap nudie Rudy I really like kind of what's going on with the ingredients no artificial preservatives no plastics no slow motion shower ads no weird chemical number thingies just that's what it says no weird chemical number thingies just good sustainable soap made with natural ingredients gives you the ingredients there and it is a milk bar um, soap with goat milk and shea butter so got that for my stocking as well and then i also picked up some more little lipsticks these are the neutrogena it's actually a brand i don't shop at all I've honestly just never been a fan of Neutrogena, but I saw these little lip crayon things and they just looked really nice. So of course this burgundy wine color is going to be Micah's and this is in the color Rich Raisin. So let me just give you guys a closer look. Yep, Rich Raisin. 
And then I went for more of a corally color, and this is in the color Fresh Papaya. Anything peach, pinky peach is up my alley, so I got that. And then I went into the pen section and got some pens. These are going to be for my stocking. And it's a Sharpie gel pen. I've never used a Sharpie pen like this before, so I thought I would give it a go. My personal favorite is the Bix Gel Velocity pen, so I'm going to kind of compare and see, you know, what I think. I love pens, black ink all the way, you know, and I just like to put random but fun and also like everyday use items in the stocking. I don't feel like it ne needs to be so holiday-ish. You know, sometimes I just put things that we need inside of them. Now, a lot of this you kept hearing for my stocking, for my stocking, for my stocking. Um, I just have yet to really kind of figure out everything that's going in Micah's. Another great item for a stocking stuffer is this one right here. I talked about the... Um, desktop PC video games in my Amazon haul and I mentioned that you can also get them at Walmart so I found this mystery case files. I love mystery case files. They've been putting out games for years um, so absolutely love them so I can't wait to play this one. It does go on the computer by the way and then I found this little mini Thomas Kincaid 2023 calendar. It is the Gardens of Grace. It was $2.97. I really liked the size of this because I can use the images for my junk journaling. So this is going to go under the Christmas tree. Too big for a stocking or for our stockings. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this as a present to myself. So there's that. And then I picked up a book and this one, it was just the cover alone and the title that sold me. I have, I didn't even read the back. I literally picked this up purely based off of this. Didn't think twice. I grabbed it, put it in the cart and walked away. Um, so, and as a matter of fact, the lady, sweet lady who's checking me out was very intrigued by this. She was like, oh, I need to read this one. So the cover just gets you. The Night Circus. What the hell goes on at night here? I need to know about this. So I'm gonna wrap it up, put it under the tree for me. All right, now let's get into Dollar General. So the first thing I'm actually gonna show you is wrapping paper. This is pretty thick. There is quite a bit of paper. I can just tell by feeling it. There's 120 square feet. Of this they have the grid lines on the back I believe this was three dollars but can we just take a look at the print because it's very vintage Santa to me and you guys know how much I love the vintage thing and of course you know that I'm going to most definitely craft and junk journal with this I'll also probably one day use it as wrapping paper but you can turn this into just about anything with planning scrapbooking you can laminate this turn it into dividers and like all kinds of things so super cute um all right so i picked that up in this bag i it's been a while i don't know why i stopped kind of buying these but i picked up some air fresheners this is glade and i picked up pine wonderland I wish you guys could smell it, but it smells really good. What what a what a description for you. Um it smells like pine wonderland. It smells exactly like a Christmas tree lot. If you were to go like buy your Christmas tree and you're just kind of like walking around, that's exactly what it smells like. Um sometimes with like when they do pine scents, it's like, oh, a pine forest or something. And there's always some other type of smell to this, but this smells exactly like walking in a tree lot. Like there's just, yeah. And then I found this one, fall night long. 
super cute love the whole blue night sky and then the firewood i can't describe this i wish i could it says notes of crisp fall air and smoldering woods that you know this smells like this smells like district 12 peter malark and it's a cold brutal winter and he makes me a fire and you know we're sitting around the fire and he's telling me about how he's so glad he picked me instead of Katniss. Then I saw these cute little toys while I was there and it sparked the idea that I wanted to do like a little stocking for my niece and nephew when I package up their Christmas stuff and send it to them. So I saw these little um, little people by Fisher Price. I, I don't really know what, what all the big toys are or what, but I just know this cute little fire truck with the firemen is absolutely adorable. Look, this whole thing twists. I'm sure that he gets out of the car as well. Um, and I got this for my nephew. The wheels move. So that's really cute. And then I also got the police car. They had other little cars to choose from. These were $6, by the way. Um, but I thought these would fit into a stocking. And because he's one, I want to get like big toys that he can't swallow. Which I also picked up these cute little dinosaurs, which were a dollar. One dollar. That's cheaper than Dollar Tree. Um, so I got little dinosaurs to put in his stocking. So... There's that. And then for my niece, I found the cutest little dolls. I've never even heard of them. I should have got the other ones, but I just got them for a stocking and I figured two would probably be the max that I could fit. So they are called the Cry Babies Magic Tears. And it's like the Tutti Fruity collection. There's six total to collect. So it looks like I got Apple, this one, and her name is Palm. Is she a pomegranate? Uh, I don't know if that's like how that goes, but she looks like an apple to me. And then I went with the green one, which is a watermelon, and her name is Mel. So that's super cute. Um, they also had the yellow one, which was Lem. Her name is Lem and she's a lemon. They also had the strawberry, and she was, or the berry, and her name was Ella, but I did not find Ari or Frammy. But anyways, so I just thought they were so cute. I feel like my niece will love these little babies. So I got those for her, shocking. And then I also got, and I think those were $5, and then I got her this little pony, they had multiple colors. I went with the girliest one they had, which was purple. They had a blue, but my niece is very girly, very pink. So I went with the purple pony, and this was a dollar. So I thought that was really cute. So I got those. And then also for my niece, I got her some play cash. This was also a dollar. Like, that's a lot of play cash. She's very, you know, she's five, gonna be five, but she's also very grown up. So she needs cash for all her, you know, all her spending. All right, so those were what I got the kids. Then I found some really cute, like, cake decor, or like cake topper. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, here it is. And I was like, this is my chance to get it now for Micah's birthday, and Micah's turning 22. And so I got the double twos. They have this also in a silver option, but I went with gold. And I don't know if you guys know this, but back in my day, milestone birthdays were 16, um, 18, 21. Then it was 29. Like those were like the, the big birthdays. But now, I don't know who needs to know this, but now 22 is also a big birthday because Taylor Swift kind of coined it with her um, 22 song. And so 
it's a big deal. And so then I was like, oh, so I'm talking to Micah about this. And she's like, and I said, oh, so your next one's 29. She goes, no, the next one's 23. And I'm like, what? And apparently 23 is also a big year because of Michael Jordan. So this generation, like if you turn 23, it's, yeah. There's none for 24, okay, uh, that, I, that I'm aware of. And I don't know, don't think there's any for 25, but like, listen, whatever. So 22 is actually a big year. So I got her those and they come with a little stick, by the way, so you can place them into the cake. So I got that. And then I found um, some little stickers. I think they were $3. I thought they, mm, they're probably worth it because they are quite big. There's quite a bit in here. Um, tells you how many you get of each number and letter. Um, I got this for junk journaling. I liked the gold foil. And then I also got this silver one that has like the little rhinestone embellishment. And I like it because we're getting numbers. I don't know if this one has numbers or not. I don't know. But anyway, so there's that. Then I found holiday cards for a dollar. I love getting these because it kind of like makes me compare to Dollar Tree, but look at all the ones that I found. They had more to choose from and I did not get them all. So it's a six count, which is exactly what we get at Dollar Tree from the Hallmark collection. You can see the price right there. So here is this one. You also get the envelopes as well. And then the very back shows you what the inside looks like so that's very smart packaging i really like that so we got that one then we have this one which is very much like my color scheme in my junk journal so i love it it's very it's vintagey and then here's the inside and then i picked up this one which is probably my personal favorite i love a good snowy scene that and then you can always pause the screen if you just kind of want to take a longer look at anything so this one's a vertical santa giving the snowman a gift has anyone ever watched the jack frost movie with um batman he, he's my batman michael keaton I was mortified. I hated that movie. I was just like, wait, what? I do not recommend. Um, but here's this one. Yeah, the snowman made me think of it, by the way. Just in case you're like, that was really random. No, the snowman made me think of it because of Jack Frost. And I just, I was getting all cozied up, getting ready to watch. This movie I'd never seen before. I think I watched it for the first time like two years ago. It was in the last house. I think it was the first Christmas. And you should have seen the look on my face as I watched as I said, wait, he doesn't come back? No, no, that was a nightmare for me personally. Okay, then I found the cutest gingerbread plate and napkin set. I would run to Dollar General for these like what y'all and they had a bigger they had the bigger round one um but it was three dollars so I just kind of like opted out of it but here are the napkins so I'll just give you guys a closer look so the round plates are a dollar super cute and then we have the matching napkin and then we have the swan, which I love how they did that. I'm so glad they didn't give us a smaller version of this. They gave us like a single gingerbread guy. And I love what he looks like. He's so unique with the glasses and freckles. Was not expecting that. A dollar. This one was a dollar as well. And then this little plate set was two dollars. Dollar Tree. Uh, hello, and then 
I, the last couple of things are some novelty pens. They are so cute. These are also going to be great for stocking stuffers. So I found this one. They have the reverse of this as well. I didn't get it with the red tinsel and then the green ribbon down. But you can see it was a dollar. Super cute. Then I found this one, which very much gave me Frozen, Elsa, Anna. I'm remembering their names. And then I found these, which are also very cute. They are a pom-pom pen as well. In the Christmas section, by the way. So you can see they were a dollar. Super cute. I'm going to put those in my stocking. And that is, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's what I hauled from Walmart and Dollar General. I'm going to leave the comments down below. I'll just say vote Walmart here or vote Dollar General here. And then you guys can just check off which one you liked best. But that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and roll the unfortunate bloopers. So yeah, I thought moving to Florida would just mean constant sunshine and tans and humidity. Hi guys, normally on... I wonder what my news, my news voice would be, like my newscaster, like... Reporting to you live today from Dollar Tree. I went in and as it turns out, it's all still a dollar twenty-five. That was slightly aggressive. But why are their voices always like that? This just in, I went to Dollar Tree and not one single hot man was found. Which keeps the burning question alive. Why aren't they shopping there? <laughs>